Good day. Welcome to Math 21 Lecture 3.3. So for today, I'll be discussing rates of change and rectilinear motion. These are applications of differentiation. Therefore, you must remember the formulas for differentiation that we have previously discussed. And also, can you have a pen and paper beside you so that you can make some, uh, take some notes or make some quick computations along the way? Okay, so let's start. Rates of change occur in many applications. First, a microbiologist might be interested in the rate at which the number of bacteria in a culture changes with time. Okay, kung mabilis ba yung pag-grow ng bacteria or mabagal. Next, an engineer might be interested in the rate at which the length of a metal rod changes with temperature. You know that uh, temperature or a higher temperature expands matter. So, how fast or what will be the effect of this on the length of a metal rod? Next, an economist might be interested in the rate at which production cost changes with the quantity of a product that is manufactured. And last, a medical researcher might be interested in the rate at which the radius of an artery changes with the concentration of alcohol in the bloodstream. In addition to this, for me as a teacher, I'm interested uh, with the rate of change of your attention span during this lecture or with respect to time. Let's look at an illustration. A hot air balloon started rising vertically from the ground and after 10 seconds, it was observed to be at an altitude of 40 feet from the ground. Okay, let's draw that. So after t equals 10 seconds, the balloon was 40 feet from the ground. Okay, let's continue. 30 seconds after it left the ground, it was found to be 100 feet from the ground. So at t equal to 30 seconds, it was 100 feet from the ground. The question here is, on average, what was its speed between the 10th and the 30th second? So we are concerned, or sorry, we are concerned for the average speed in this interval. Speed is distance over time. So we just get the difference between the distance. So 100 minus 40 divided by the difference in time, 30 minus 10. So this is equal to 60 over 20, or this is equal to 3 feet per second. So this is the average speed between the 10th and the 30th second. Does this mean that the velocity at each moment then the 10th to the 30th second is equal to 3 feet per second? What do you think? Diba? Sabi nga natin, average speed yon. So when you say average, the average rate uh, in general, if we have the variables x and y, and y is a function of x, the average rate of change of y with respect to x on the interval x0 to x is given by this, yung difference ng f of x minus f of x0 divided by x minus x0. Or we can represent it by delta f over delta x. Now, sabi natin average to, we contrast it with what we call the instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x at a particular point, x equals x0. Okay? So, pag average, ito yung average niya between x0 to x. When you say instantaneous rate of change, paano yung kukunin? We just get or we let x approach we get the limit as x approaches x0. Okay? So, ito yung formula ng average. If you get the limit as x approaches x0, does this formula look familiar? Tama? This is just f prime evaluated at x0. Okay? So, this gives us a new interpretation of the derivative. Diba? Dati, we use the first derivative to get the slope of a tangent line. Now, another interpretation of the derivative is the instantaneous rate of change. 
Okay, uh, tingnan lang natin saglit yung graph. Okay, if you recall, nung nag-define din tayo ng derivative, we looked at the secant line and the tangent line. Ano yung secant line? Sige, I'll try to draw. Okay, so, suppose this is the curve y equals f of x, and you have the points p, p, and q. When you say secant line, naalala, secant line is the line connecting these two points, points P and Q. Okay? Sorry, hindi mag, hindi dumaan sa P. Pero, ayan yun, suppose dumaan sa P. So, uh, yung average rate of change is the slope of the secant line passing through points P and Q. In contrast, yung instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x at x0 is the slope of the tangent line passing through point P. Okay? Ayan. So, yun din yung difference nila ng average rate and instantaneous rate of change on the graph. Okay, what else can we say? So, if y is a function of x, dy over dx can be positive, negative, or zero. Ano ibig sabihin nun? If dy over dx is positive on an interval, then y increases as x increases, or y decreases as x decreases. On the other hand, if the derivative dy over dx is negative, it means that as x increases, y decreases. Okay? Or as x decreases, y increases. Now, if dy over dx is 0, then it means that y does not change with respect to x. Let's look at this example. So, a right circular cylinder has a fixed height of 6 units. We're asked to find the rate of change of its volume with respect to the radius of its base. Okay, so ano pinapahanap sa atin? We're asked to find... The rate of change of its volume, so that is dv over or with respect to the radius dv over dr. Ito yung goal natin na mahanap. Okay, sige, let's draw a cylinder. So, ano yung alam natin? Okay, ay. So, the cylinder has a fixed height of 6 units. And then, yung radius varies. Okay, any for formula for the volume of the cylinder? The volume is pi r squared h. But since the height is fixed, we can write this as pi, or lagay na lang natin dito, 6 pi r squared. Okay? We want to find dv over dr, so we just differentiate this equation or this formula with respect to r. Okay? Differentiating with respect to r, we get dv over dr equals, ito constant lang to, 6 pi. Derivative of r square with respect to r is 2r. Okay? So you have 12 pi r. This is the rate of change of the volume with respect to the radius of the base. Okay, so an interpretation natin dito, since the radius is always positive, dv over dr is always greater than 0. It means that as the radius increases, the volume also increases. Bactericide was introduced to a nutrient broth in which bacteria were growing. The bacterium population continued to grow for some time but then stopped growing and began to decline. The size of the population at time t in Rs is given by this function p equals 10 to the 6 plus 10 to the 4th t minus 10 cubed t square. So we want to determine the growth rates at t equals 0, t equals 5, and t equals 10 Rs. Okay? So the growth rate, let's solve this. The growth rate or the rate of change of the bacterium population p with respect to time t is given by... P prime, P prime of T. 
Okay? So we'll just differentiate the given formula for P with respect to T. Okay? The derivative of derivative of 10 to the 6th is 0. It's just a constant. The derivative of 10 to the 4th t is 10 to the 4th. Minus the derivative of 10 cubed t square. So we just copy the constant times the derivative of t square which is 2t. Okay, we can factor out 10 cubed. We get 10 minus 2t. Then we can further factor out 2. So we have 10 cubed times 2 times the quantity 5 minus t. Okay, so this is p prime of t. Para mas madali natin i-compute yung growth rates at t equal 0, 5, and 10. Sige, so we have an expression for p prime. We get p prime of 0. p prime of 0 is 10 cubed times 2 times 5 minus 0. So we have 5 or this is equal to 10 raised to 4. P prime of 5 is equal to 10 cubed times 2 times 0. This is 0. And last, P prime of 10 is equal to 10 cubed times 2 times negative 5. Or this is equal to negative 10 raised to 4. Okay? So, ito na yung growth rate at t equals 0, t equals 5 hours, and t equals 10 hours. Ano interpretation nun? Pag positive, sige, let's uh, look at this more closely. Sige, so yung p prime of t natin, nagzi-zero siya at t equals 5. So, if we're going to make a table of signs, so at t equals 5, dito siya 0, so yung p prime of t will be from 0 to 5, t prime of t is positive, and from 5 to positive infinity, p prime of t is negative. Diba? If you substitute a value less than 5 for t, for example, 3, 5 minus 3 is positive, so positive to. And then if you substitute a value which is greater than 5 for t, 5 minus a larger number is negative. That's why this is negative. Okay? That's why we say that for t between 0 to 5, uh, the population or the growth rate is positive. P prime of T is positive. Or yung bacteria nagi increase. But from 5 hours uh, to positive infinity, P prime of T is negative or decreasing. Okay, positive or increasing, ito negative or decreasing. So after 5 hours, the population of the bacteria uh, decreased already or declined already. Okay? So again, next, let's look at this example. So sabi, a ladder 24 feet long rests against a vertical wall. Okay, so tingnan nyo yun ha. So the ladder is 24 feet long. Let theta be the angle between the top of the ladder and the wall. Okay, ano yung theta? So try to sketch this. And uh, let x be the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the wall. Okay, locate nyo yung x. So if the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall, how fast does theta change with respect to x when x equals 12 square root of 3. Okay? Did you try to sketch yung mga given? Yan. So here we have a ladder, 24 feet. Yan. So dito, kung merong quantity na fix na, hindi nagbabago, ilagay nyo na yung value nun, 24 feet. But in this case, yung theta natin and yung x, nagbabago. 
Okay, kasi nga yung ladder is sliding away from the wall. Kaya, ilalagay natin yung variables doon. Kaya, wag nyo, muta, wag nyo munang gagamitin itong x equals 12 square root of 3. So, ito muna illustration natin. Sige, now, uh, we have to find a formula or an equation that relates these quantities. Ano yung naisip nyo? If this is theta, okay, this is theta, ano yung relation ng x with respect to theta? x is the opposite side of theta. Take note, we have a right triangle here. Okay? x is the opposite side of theta. Yung 24, ano yun? 24 is your hypotenuse. Therefore, anong formula yung pwede natin gamitin? Pwede natin gamitin yung sine theta equals opposite. Yung opposite side ng theta ay x and the hypotenuse is equal to 24. Okay? So, na-relate na natin yung mga variables theta and x. Now, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay Oh, sige, maya na muna. We can try to isolate theta. Sige, if you want to isolate theta, anong gagawin natin? Di-divide natin by sine? Hindi. We get the arc sine of x over 24. Okay? So, theta equals arc sine of x over 24. Sige, balik tayo dun sa problem. Ang pinatanong sa atin, how fast does theta change with respect to x? Yun muna. Uh, how fast does theta change with respect to x? So, change ng theta. So, that will be, okay lang dito ko muna isulat ha. Find change ng theta. So, that's d theta with respect to x. When x equals 12 square root of 3. So, pwede nyo gawin ganito. Evaluated when x equals 12 square root of 3. So, ito yung pinapahanap sa atin. Okay? So, let's go back to the drawing. Again, we're looking for d theta over dx when x equals 12 square root of 3. Okay? Using this formula, so, theta, iba nakita natin, kanina, theta equals inverse sine of x over 24. Kailangan makuha natin tong expression na to. So, we differentiate uh, this equation with respect to x. Kaya, ano yung derivative niyan with respect to x? So, you have d theta over dx equals, naalala yung derivative ng inverse sine, the derivative of inverse sine u, where u is x over 24, is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x over 24 square times the derivative of x over the derivative of x over 24 chain rule lang the derivative of x over 24 with respect to x is just 1 over 24 okay so ito yung uh, expression natin for d theta over dx once you have this pwede na nating i-substitute etong 12 square root of 3 so ngayon pa lang natin gagamitin ha wag nyo gamitin agad uh, dito. Kaya wag nyo agad i-substitute kasi ang gusto natin ay d theta over dx. Okay? So, substituting 12 square root of 3, you get 1 all over the square root of 1 minus 12 square root of 3 all over 24 square times 1 over 24. Okay? So, we can simplify this. 12 over 24 is 1 half was you have 1 all over the square root of pwede bang kunin ko na LCD if you have 2 square ang LCD ay 4 okay so you can write 1 as 4 over 4 minus square root of 3 square is 3 times 1 over 24 okay so sa denominator you have 4 minus 3 which is 1 over 4 square root of 1 over 4 is 1 half Get the reciprocal kasi you have 1 over 1 half. So, you have 2 times 1 over 24. Okay, then uh, you can divide 
both by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Therefore, we have 1 over 12. Ano yung units? Radians. Kasi this is theta over dx where x is in feet. Okay? Kuha? Actually, there is another way of doing this and I'll be discussing it to you or with you. Dito kasi, di ba, ang ginawa natin, in-isolate natin si theta. So, nagkaroon tayo ng inverse sine of x over 24. Uh, another option or an alternate solution is to use implicit differentiation. In this case, you don't need to isolate theta. So, differentiate na natin agad. Ganun pa rin yung hinahanap natin, di ba? We still want to find d theta over dx when x is 12 square root of 3. Okay, if you don't want to isolate theta, uh, differentiate na natin agad ito. Dito tayo mag-differentiate. Okay? Sige, derivative of sine theta. So, we'll be differentiating with respect to x. Derivative of sine theta with respect to x is cosine theta, chain rule, derivative ng theta with respect to x. Okay? Nakuha? So, first, get the derivative of sine, which is cosine theta. Then, get the derivative of theta with respect to x. So, that's d theta over dx. Yung right-hand side, ang derivative ng x over 24 is just 1 over 24. Okay? So, isolating d theta, d theta over dx, we have 1 over 24. Yan, you divide both sides by cosine theta. Okay, so this is our d theta over dx. Paano ngayon yan? Uh, sa natin gagamitin, or paano natin gagamitin yung x equals 12 square root of 3? Take note dito, hindi natin alam yung theta. So we have to solve for theta when x is 12 square root of 3. Sige, drawing natin tong triangle na to. Okay, sorry, hindi masyadong, ay sorry. Okay, so suppose this is our right triangle. So when x is 12 square root of 3, ano tong theta? Yung hypotenuse naman natin, yung length ng ladder, hindi pa rin nagbabago. It's still 24 feet. So, yan. Alam natin yung opposite and hypotenuse. So if you get sine theta, sine theta is opposite. So 12 square root of 3 over 24 this cancels out. You get square root of 3 over 2. Okay? And what angle will give a sine equal to square root of 3 over 2? Pi over 3. So, when x equals 12 square root of 3, theta is equal to pi over 3. So, if we evaluate at this condition. Sige, substitute natin. d theta over dx equals 1 over 24 cosine pi over 3. Okay, so we have 1 over 24. Ano yung cosine ng pi over 3? Cosine pi over 3 is 1 half. So, uh, we divide by 1 half or multiply by its reciprocal 2 over 1. Okay, so again, this is still equal to 1 over 12. Katulad nung nakuha natin kanina, regions per feet. Okay? Nakuha? Yan, sige. Medyo uh, mixy lang yung topic natin sa rates of change. So, here, before we proceed to the next topic, you can try to answer these exercises. Okay? Uh, yan, we have... You can look at the module, page 166, part B. Numbers 2, 3, and 4. Nandiyan yung suggested time na kung saan matatapos nyo sana yung mga numbers na yan. Pero don't worry kung hindi nyo matapos. Guide lang yan. Okay? And then, uh, this, uh, Dr. De La Cruz will be discussing this after. Be sure na subukan nyo muna. Uh, nasagutan. Before you look or watch the video. Okay? So, yun muna for now. Rewihin itong video if necessary before you proceed to the next video. Okay, thank you.